Hello everyone, I do that. Discover and apply practical education has come up with another experiment. I hope you liked our previous experiment on polar germination. Today, we are going to perform an experiment to study the effect of temperature and pH on the activity of salivary amylase. First, let us understand the significance of this experiment. As we know, mouth is a primary place where digestion starts. Here, salivary amylase acts on starch and breaks it into simple sugar maltose. Salivary amylase, being an enzyme, is protein in nature whose activity depends on optimum temperature. Let's see the effect of temperature in this experiment. Materials required Pipette, incubator, pipette pump, pH strips, test tube, watch glass, and other basic glasswares. Here, we have 1% starch, 1% NaCl, saliva, 3 test tube, mark A, B, and C. Pour 5 ml of starch into A, B, and C. Now transfer 1 ml NaCl into the test tubes. Finally, add 1 ml saliva to the 3 test tubes. Put tube A into beaker maintained at 5 degrees Celsius. Tube C into incubator maintained at 60 degrees Celsius. And keep tube B at room temperature. Using a pipette, transfer 1 ml of solution into series of 6 tubes for each sample. Now, add few drops of iodine in first tube of each series and observe initial reading at 0 minutes. Repeat the same step at intervals of 2 minutes and observe the change in color. After 12 minutes, we observe that iodine does not turn the solution to blue-black in the tube maintained at room temperature, which indicates that the starch is no more present in the tube. But the same does not happen with test tubes maintained at 5 degree and 60 degree. Therefore, we can conclude that salivary amylase does not digest starch at 5 degree and 60 degree, but reaches a chromatic point at room temperature in 12 minutes. Moving on to the effect of pH, as food travels from our mouth to stomach, the pH suddenly drops due to HCl. So, here we will learn how pH affects the activity of salivary amylase. Let's prepare the sample like earlier, a different pH that is by 6.8 and 8. Distribute the sample in series of 6 test tubes. Add iodine to first tube of each series and observe the reading at 0 minutes. The sample turns blue-black indicating the presence of starch. Repeat the step at interval of 2 minutes and observe the change in color. This time we can see the solution at 6.8 pH does not turn blue-black at 12 minutes. Hence, it reaches the achromatic point in 12 minutes. And the test samples of 5 and 8 pH are still showing blue-black color, indicating the presence of starch. Hereby, we conclude that salivary amylase works best at slightly acidic pH, that is 
but denatures at acidic or basic pH. Hence, not showing any activity. Hope you guys liked the experiment. Next time, we will meet up in our chemistry lab. Till then, please like, share and subscribe and keep learning with EduDev.